another chick. This one had a really badly broken egg. And I found it under the broodies. So I did an assist hatch. And this is your first time drinking water. And the assist hatch, I say assist hatch, it's not quick. Um, really look up the tutorials if you're not sure how to do it. It's the first time I've done any assisted hatches. And um, the tutorials are on backyard chickens. It's a really in-depth one on what to look for. And um, so this hatch, I think, took me maybe about 32 hours. I put a hole in there for breathing. I moved it to the incubator. The next day I helped widen the hole, kept mo um, like adding moisture to the membrane. Though the, the membrane was already dried out because um, there was, the egg was badly damaged by either the broodies crushing it or trying to eat it. Um, then I watched as the veins receded. I watched for the duckling if it was yawning or making like eating motions. That means it's still absorbing the yolk. And then once um, I started getting nervous because it started getting very quiet. So I wind it more to the point that it would be able to push out of the egg, but I didn't force it to hatch. So it was enough as body hanging out, it could push itself out. Um, even though if it was sticky, I kind of separated a lot from the body. So, um, and then over, so it could push the stuff out still. Then over the night, probably about so 4 a.m. I did that. And then at eight o'clock, it was obvious that it was trying to get out. And I brought it in my hand and it pushed out of the rest of the shell in my hand. The umbilical cord was still there, so I, um, but the yolk was fully absorbed. So we, um, and that can just, you know, that can happen all the time. It just attaches, it stays attached to the egg. So I waited a little bit longer um, by putting it back in the incubator. And there we go. It pushed itself out, it was fine. The reason it's not in the incubator now is this one has started to jump over the barriers and the incubator has peacock eggs in it. They're not anywhere near a lockdown, so the humidity is not up. So I really want them out just to, you know, every time I'm doing this, I'm trying to save a life and I'm scared that I'm hurting the pea chicks that aren't even born yet. So I'm um, trying to minimize the damage. But this one here is seems to be going quite well. Um, I've just got them under a heat lamp at the moment. It's just quite hot, so it's got the temperature there. And I put some food and water and I'm just supervising them. And once they're a little bit more fluffed out, then they'll go into the brood with the others where there's a heat plate. But um, I just want to just wanna wait until they're a bit more fluffed out. There's uh, Everything's closed up in this room. So no drafts. We'll just keep you warm. And yeah, there's a second in the incubator. That has still a little bit of veins on the mem on the membrane and it's still yawning and making eating motions. So I don't think it'll need to come out until probably the middle of the night. They like to hatch in the middle of the night and it seems like it's tracking with that. So, um, because the veins have, um, sorry, let me focus back on you again. So the veins have receded in the membrane for this little chick. So it is looking like it's very, getting very close to being ready to hatch, but it's still doing yolk absorption. So. Um, we'll see how it goes. I still let them do the last push. I don't pull them out of the egg. I think that's important because if they're not ready, they won't do it, hopefully. Um, and there's guides in the Backyard Chickens Forum video as well on what to do if it does come out with the egg. Oh, come on, honey. Calm down. Calm down. You can hear my voice and wants to be up here, but you're not. Come on. On to... There we go. Watch your claws. Don't get them stuck. Always getting them stuck. There we go. You can hear my voice and jumps up. Hey, precious. You can see, um, probably because the egg dried out, there's just all this muck that's stuck to it. And there's a few little bald spots where the membrane just took off some of the fluff, I think. Because uh, the same thing happened in the last one. Oh, you're looking a little cold. So, let's move you. Come on, come on. A little precious. Oh, into the... <laughs> Doesn't know how to use the claws yet, so you have to just be careful. Just tuck each foot up. There we go. Come on. There we go. Let's get you de-hooked. There we go. Oh, there we are. And pop you in the warm spot. There we go. 32 degrees Celsius. That's perfect. Not too hot. Not too cold. 
At the moment, you look like Angel from Buffy the Vampire. Just too much hair gel in your hair, little one. You're looking very early noughties. Mm -hmm. I'll keep popping them in the heat and sometimes I just like to fall asleep on my hand. Um, today will be another long day looking after a little chick. Little duckling, really. I don't know even what to call you. Oh, you're a darling. All right, I'll pop you back in the heat again. Say bye. Oh.